All right, joining us now is uh, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. <laughs> Senator, um, an awful lot of money's been set, spent in Ukraine. Uh, it yeah. seems in many ways that that has devolved into a proxy war between Joe Biden versus Putin or the U.S. versus Russia. Um, American people are pretty angry about it. They're angry that Europe has not stepped up uh, financially to protect their own continent enough. Yeah. Uh, and then you got, what, $12 billion, that's it, that goes yeah. to Israel. But even worse than that, Joe Biden will not allow Israel to fight the war they need to win against radical Islamic terrorists that slaughtered them on October 7th, took their own ho uh, citizens hostage, Americans yeah. hostage, uh, and yeah. he's lecturing Bibi Netanyahu the entire yeah. time. He's not helping at all. And the worst part is he says the U.S. won't help in terms of offensively helping to win the war on terror. Joe Biden has surrendered on the war against radical Islamic yeah. terrorism. Yeah. Can you explain the disparity? Because I can't. Yeah. Michigan. Uh, Joe Biden is worried about losing support in Michigan. He's throwing Israel under the bus. There's been no better ally to the state of Israel than President Trump. He recognized Jerusalem as the capital of the Jewish state. He uh, recognized the Golan Heights as part of Israel, not Syria. Uh, Biden's withholding the weapons Israel needs to win a war they can't afford to lose. Everywhere Israel looks, they're radical Islamists that want to cut their throat. Here's my message to the state of Israel. Help is on the way. President Trump is coming back. Why are you so certain, Senator? Because the American people have had enough of this four years of just, just misery. Misery at home, misery abroad. What I would say today about the Senate uh, engagement with President Trump he was the team captain, and we were glad he was leading us. Everybody in that room is dying for him to get back in office. He wants us to win the Senate so we can put judges on the bench. He talked about him helping us. It was the single best meeting I've ever seen between the United States Republican senators and President Trump. He was uh, in a good mood. People appreciate him. Uh, uh, He's leading in every state we need to win the Senate back. He's doing better than every Republican Senate candidate. The road to the majority in the Senate uh, is to marry up with President Trump and his agenda. This was a positive meeting today. He talked about rebuilding this country, and I can't wait to have him back. Whether well, people agreed with you or didn't agree with you, on your belief that there should be a federal 15-week ban on the, uh, yeah. or allowance on the issue of abortion. Yeah. Put that aside. One thing right. I would argue, and I don't think I'm wrong about, is that 2022, one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, the red wave did not occur was because of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. We had an, another Supreme Court decision. It was unanimous yeah. today. It was on the yeah. abortion pill. I think we're up to 60 to 70 percent of all abortions are done with that pill. And the Supreme Court made very clear today that that will remain legal. Uh, the Democrats will demagogue the issue. But will this ruling impact any or mitigate any demagoguery that's going to occur this election season? Well, number one, no matter what you do or say, they're going to accuse us of hating women and and being extremists. President Trump said today that the Democratic Party is extreme. They support abortion up to the moment of birth. The Virginia governor, the old governor, talked about allowing a decision after the baby is born. They're the extremists, not us. I'm proud to be pro-life. You know, uh, France limits abortion at 14 weeks. My bill's 15 weeks. President Trump said, leave it up to the states. I respect that. This won't be decided based on abortion. This election will be about your physical security, your prosperity, and trying to get the world back in check before a lot of us get killed. I've never been more worried about an attack on our country than I am right now. And President Trump said it was a front to our nation to have Soviet ships off the coast of Florida. Weakness breeds aggression. By the way, the day uh, President Senator, Trump is right elected, there. all this stops. Nuclear Sorry. weapons, hypersonic missiles off the coast of my free state yes. of Florida. And, and uh, it, it almost seems like a, a Cuban <laughs> missile crisis moment, yeah. but Joe doesn't know.
Well, this is the 1930s all over again. Uh, why did uh, Russia invade Ukraine? Why did Putin do it? Because he thought he could get away with it on Biden's watch. Uh, I really believe that. Why did they attack Israel so viciously? They thought America wouldn't be with Israel. All that changes the day Trump wins. I can't wait to have him back in office. The Republican senators appreciate this man. To everybody out there watching, do all you can to help President Trump, because our way of life depends on it. It really does. Um, I say this is an inflection point for the country. We've often Amen. said it's a tipping point election. This is way bigger. Yeah. Uh, and like you, I've never been more afraid for my country or the state of the world than I am right now. Yeah. Uh, Lindsey Graham, Senator, thank you. We appreciate it. When we come back, Jim 